here at the post office in my mom's car and literally I can't even move my seat. Just bags and bags of orders are going out today. Uh, they're all in the trunk, they're over here. So everything's done, caught up with. Everyone that ordered, it's two o'clock, they ordered until like 1.45. Uh, your order is being sent. So let's go and get this off and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Here with my boy Jordan. What's up? And about to go eat something after this. Record all angles, man. We are here in town center, Sugarland, about to go get some Mexican food. Uh, what's called Las Escalantes is where we're going. <laughs> Las Escalantes, but going out here, butchering that accent for y'all. And here we are. This is kind of like the uh, the area locally where I kind of grew up. This is like town center, a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, which I still don't go to, right here. even though I'm 21. Um, but yeah, lots of bars, lots of restaurants, like city halls down there, the malls like right across the street, movie theaters over here, so that's kind of like the area that we're in right now. Just have no shame, man, just do it. No one tells you anything. <laughs> we are here, started out with some chips and salsa and also some queso, which is like a white queso. <laughs> which is cheese. I went to the UK at Body Power and I asked for queso and they gave me shredded cheese in the cup. It was so funny. But that's queso to my UK people, in case you didn't know. And yeah, chip salsa, waters. I ordered two chicken quesadillas. Thank you so much. Yeah, your meal is 17 now, so you bring it this number? That's it. I'm good, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Two chicken quesadillas on there. <laughs> wow, I look really blue. That feeling when you get to the gym and you're already not really feeling it and you forget your headphones. So you have no headphones and it's leg day. You don't feel like it. Your mind's not in it. Your body's not in it. You're tired. You just want to go home and do a little bit of work and then maybe lay down and watch some TV and just chill and relax. It's for losers. It's for losers. If you give in like that, you're a quitter. Because I said I was going to work out, I told myself, I told you guys, I told the camera, I could have said it and just not uploaded the footage and who would have known. But being honest to yourself, be honest to yourself with your goals and, uh, Things will all come together, guys. Seriously, that's just holding yourself accountable because nobody's gonna hold you accountable, ever, for anything. Maybe while you're in school, high school, you know, you feel your teachers, you really need to get this done. You're gonna remind you like every single day, but once you get in the real world, it's all on you. All 100% on you. Get some legs. I have my, what is this? Looks like a monster, right? But what's actually in here, you're, you're not gonna be able to see that, is some uh, icy, blue rad, icy Blue Raz C4, Cellucor C4. And update guys, um, I've always had the Siguzman on Cellucor.com, saves you 20% off, and literally just today, they upgraded my commission thing to, it's gonna save you guys 25% off. So Siguzman, Cellucor.com, saves you 25% off anything. Maybe I'm procrastinating, I just don't really want to go in yet. I'm going to go in, but I don't really feel like it just now, right at this moment. But also, I feel like I haven't just pulled the camera out and talked to you guys. Um, there's not really a place to put my camera in this car. Like right now I have it here, but obviously I can't do that while I'm driving. So there's like not, not really like a spot to put it here. Uh, but I guess I can update you guys on the car. I'm absolutely loving every single thing about it. I'm actually taking it in tomorrow morning at 7.40 a.m. to get the first oil change. So on the M cars, this is the M4, 2015 M4. I know it doesn't say four there, but um, on the M cars, the BMW, you have to take it in for the very first oil change. It's only on the M ones, but to on 1,200 miles. So 1,200 miles, you take it in, get the oil change, and then it's like normal after that. It's not 1,200, it's like five or seven, 7,500 or something like that. I'm not positive with this car. But uh, taking it in tomorrow at 7.40 to get that done, get it washed, because they do it right, and uh, yeah, that's the update on that. Loving it, 
standard. Feels really nice to have a standard again. My first two cars were standard, and then I had an automatic. My 370 was automatic, which I I like. I love the car. Awesome freaking car. But I just didn't really like the automatic. It took the fun out of driving it, kind of. So I love like I just love standard. Um, kind of adjusted to it. I can't text really or do anything while I'm driving it, but it's worth the experience. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, you're spending money on a car, it's so stupid, it gets you from point A to point B, but those aren't the people that enjoy the experience. My car lovers out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just about the experience of like getting to drive your car and like enjoying the ride and enjoying the what the car has to offer. So, I mean, obviously if you're just drive if you don't care and just getting point A point to point B, yeah, that's a true statement, but um, that doesn't take into account just the love and like, Maybe I'm a loser for cars, but love cars. All right, what's going on, YouTube family? Back at the commentary for you all. And as I said in my little heart-to-heart -heart that I had with my uh, camcorder inside of my car, uh, just really wasn't feeling it today. I didn't have my headphones, you know, whatever reasons. I had a huge meal. I got sleepy after because there was so many calories. Uh, you know, whatever. Excuses, excuses. Nonetheless, got into the gym, got the job done uh, to the best of my ability, which is what matters. So... Um, this workout started out with uh, started with quad extensions and also some hamstring curls, uh, just like two sets of 15 and 20 reps to get a little bit of blood flow, uh, warm up the legs a little bit, and then moved on to my warm up sets on squats, which eventually led me to about four working sets of six to eight reps uh, with about 275, which I'm using here, and I also use 295 for a few sets, but. Uh, using a little bit lower rest time, which kind of brings me onto this metaphor that I want to talk to you guys, which is probably going to be the title of this video, uh, called sandbag, the sandbag metaphor, right? So when I mean, when I say sandbag, what do I mean? I mean, everyone going into the gym, we have a sandbag, aka our energy supply. Uh, we only have so much energy, you know, that we can direct towards lifting before we start feeling tired and fatigued and kind of mentally and physically drained. Uh, me personally, I find about, for me, it's honestly about an hour, 15 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes until if I'm working out for an hour and 15, anything after that, I really start fatiguing. You know, my mind's not there. I feel lazy. I just want to go home. And that's, you know, AKA metaphorically speaking, the sandbag running out of sand, right? So as soon as you step into the gym and start your workout, you're poking a hole in that sandbag and the sand is draining out, AKA your energy. So this really brings me to my point, which a few weeks ago, I you know, reevaluated my training and looked at what I was doing. And I was spending about 30 to 40 minutes just on my very first compound movement. And, you know, I was lifting as heavy as possible, trying to, you know, progress in strength, which is great and everything. But for me, I was just dedicating, I was getting too caught up in it. You know, there's a fine line. And I was getting too caught up in trying to lift in the three, four, and five rep ranges when for my goals, my goal right now is to build my physique, build as much muscle as possible so that next time I diet down, which will be in a few months, my physique and my body looks different than it did a year ago. That that's my goal. My goal is not to compete in powerlifting, at least right now, that's not my goal. And so I need to reevaluate everything. You know, for me, spending 35 or 40 minutes on the flat bench press to do, you know, five sets of three just really is not optimizing my time in the gym and my energy in the gym. So um, cutting down my rest time a little bit, doing more volume. So, you know, whether it's leg day or chest and tricep day, back and bicep, arm and shoulder day, I'm decreasing my rest a little bit. I'm getting, you know, my heart, yes, my heart rate's a little bit higher, but I'm getting more volume and still lifting as heavy as possible. Don't get me wrong. But but I'm just trying to get more in um, because I feel like for my body and for me, that's what my body responds to, you know, muscle growth. And I hate to use the strength rep range and hypertrophy rep range, but, you know, really staying on my compounds, maybe like five to eight reps. Uh, but on everything else, I'm pretty much staying as about, to be honest, maybe six to 12, even 15 reps um, as opposed to focusing on a few lifts and, you know, spending a lot of time and devoting time to those when I only have so much energy. So, um, really what I'm just trying to say is be sure that you're in the gym devoting time to what you want, whether that be powerlifting and getting your bench stronger, whether that be, you know, building up your physique and getting volume in, uh, just know that you shouldn't direct your training and the time you spend in the gym towards any third party, you know, do it for you, work towards your goals and do it, do the necessary steps in order to there, I'm waving at the camera like a dummy. Um, but do what's necessary to obtain your goals and get closer to reaching those. So that's going to conclu conclude this commentary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, can't wait to see you guys at the Olympia. 
Uh, today is Tuesday. I'm uh, going to do a Q&A for you all tomorrow and have it uploaded later this week and hopefully one more vlog. But uh, I'll see you guys on Friday and Saturday at the Quest booth, 11 to 2 p.m. I'll be there both days. So thank you. ChristianUseMind.com for online training and apparel, 8-week, 12-week, and 16-week macro coaching, as well as some other plans. Check that out, and I'll see you on the next one. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.